Okay, we're back again. I've been, not been around for a couple days because I had to do some things for my daughter. Hey, come here, baby. Come on. Come on, good doggy. You haven't done anything either. Come on. He's going nuts down here. Come on. Oh, here he is. Here's our little buddy. His fur is growing out again. Where are you going? What are you doing? Falling over? Oh. Ah, my little buddy. Uh, seems like I haven't been busy, but I have been doing some stuff. Basically, I've had to do stuff at night. Um, during the day, I have to, I've had to go ahead and pick my daughter, my granddaughter up from school, not my daughter, uh, <laughs> because my granddaughter uh, is going to school, and it's not that far from me. I mean, they only live like, oh, let's see, from my house to their house takes me a whole five minutes to get there. Uh, the school is a little farther down the street the other direction, so yeah, it didn't take me any time at all to get there. So I pick her up, and then uh, uh, then I take her back home because my uh, daughter's mother-in-law is watching the baby while she has to go to work, and her daughter has to go to work. So. So now everybody has to work, except for me, of course. Her. So anyway, so we're sort of taking turns. Tomorrow i got to take care of the baby a little bit tomorrow, not very long. My daughter wants to go ahead and get her, get her eyebrows waxed or something, I think she said. But, uh, so I'm just going to be there for another hour or so. But I have been doing stuff here. Um, mostly replacing parts on the good old SX-25. Uh, and I do have a good circuit diagram on the other TCS-12 now. And uh, I actually found one and I blew it up so that I could see what, uh, where the connections were on that socket so that I can wire power up to it. Well, it's not it has power, it's got audio, everything else is going to be hooked into that plug. So, i got to work on that. But I've been doing, taking parts off of this uh, SX-25. And now I'm not restuffing any old parts, I'm just putting new parts in. And uh, where I can get to them. The thing is really, some areas are really hard to get to in this thing. Uh, like a lot of other radios. But uh, anyway, I'll show you what I've done so far Ugh. and what I've replaced. All right, Chubby. Don't get upset now. He always gets upset. Dog Italian. Let's see. I gotta put this someplace where we get light, but it doesn't wash everything out. There we go. I think that'll work. That'll work better, I think. And, uh, there we are. Actually, I should have a point or two, I guess. Uh, but, what am I going to use here? Grab something. Okay. Oh, anyway. Okay. That's been replaced, of course. This one right next to it's been replaced. Uh, some of these resistors, they look bad. I mean, they're old, but they really are really in good shape. Uh, this capacitor replaced. Uh, another one up there. And this ceramic I put up there. Uh, let's see. Then we have that one there. There actually is another wax paper cap on this side that I have to get to and replace. Um, the electrolytic, I replaced that one. Uh, that electrolytic I've replaced. Um, this one here has been replaced. And actually there's another wax cap up there, but that one is uh, 1600 volts. So I'm looking right now to see if I have anything that big my brother Ron says, "Well, if it's not going, if it's going directly to power or something, it would, 
I'd probably need 1600 volt volts, but he doesn't see why they would need something that big. I says, well, I don't know. I followed the wire back down and it looks like it's going over to the uh, audio output transformer. There's no way it's got that much power. So I don't know what the deal is there. Uh, so anyways, I've replaced a lot of the caps. There's only a couple that are left. Um, pretty much. And, uh, well, I'll show you them, the ones we have here. Let's see if we can zero back out. And I'll show you what kind of messy ones we have. Um, yeah. Uh, they were all in pretty bad shape. Uh, nothing is really in good shape. Uh, stuff was leaking out. Uh, it was, yeah. Uh, pretty much a disaster inside there. So I'm pretty sure Unless I screwed up something really bad and put something in the wrong place. I'm pretty sure this will still work um, I mean the lights and stuff come on But uh, right now I only have it plugged into the headphones. So we'll have to go ahead and try a good one I don't know if I can turn it on right now Ah <sighs> Well, maybe I can. Let's see. Turn it on. I don't know if you'll hear anything, though. It looks all dial lights are on. Turn this off. And you can see all dial lights are on. And I have the headphones plugged in. I don't have a speaker hooked up. Hmm. And there actually is something there. And I wonder if I get... Turn... Let's pitch. Well, yeah, I do have something there. And it's making noises. Uh, you can't hear it, but like I said, it's pretty low, so I'll have to go ahead and hook up to a speaker, but it is working. And oh yeah, something there. Okay, well anyway, at least I know I haven't messed anything up. It is working, so we'll have to get a speaker on that and then do another test. But uh, anyway, that's what I've been doing. I've been playing around with this, trying to get this going. So, I think we'll be okay. And that's going to be it for now. Um, we'll come back with something else later on. And talk to you guys later.